All right, so welcome to part two. That first video was getting kind of long, so I wasn't trying trying to drag it out. But I'm going to just pick up where I left off. He told me, like, yeah, bro, like, I'm on a fucker, all that stuff. I'm like, all right, bro, like, do you? Mind you, my my man's Vaughn already said he was going to throw me the oop. So I already gave her my number. I, I strategically planned out how I dipped away from the girl, and I came back and gave Shorty my number. And she already... The, the the bad light skin shorty already knew I was there with another girl. I guess she didn't give a fuck. I don't know. She like like I said, she gonna choose who she wanna choose. So it was like a couple days after the party. My man still told me like, bro, like I'm telling you, I'm gonna fuck her, bro. Like I've been texting her, blah 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 blah. She fucking with me. And whole time he's texting her, he getting her friend zoned and not even knowing it. So fast forward. I chilled with the shorty a couple times, and for real, I fucked her without even trying. I didn't take her on a date. I didn't. I didn't text her heavy, and I didn't. I didn't go out and do no extra extravagant gestures, bring her flowers, and none of that like old school romantic shit. Don't get me wrong. At that time, I used to be a romantic nigga. I just got out like a a, a long relationship. I was young. I think I just got out of high school or something at the time. So I was kind of over all that, that relationship shit. So, but I fucked her without trying because I'm her preference. And I'm the type of dude that I guess she goes after or gets her pussy wet. So I came over to chill with her the first time. And I slept over. She stuck me in her crib. Her parents were home. She lived in an apartment. And I was like, oh, shit, like, this is some different shit. But I was I was ready, you feel me? Like, you got to take risk. Like, you got to take risk to, like, get what you want. And that's in anything in life. So I come over and I low-key was, I wasn't, like, really, really, like, in tune with women's nature. So she was, like, trying to fuck me the first night, but... I was low key trying to respect it because she was so beautiful. I was like, man, she not really like this. Like, you feel me? But I did. I wasn't. That's on me because I wasn't in tune. So that kind of her trying to fuck me. I kind of like dubbed her shit. That messed with her, her ego or her self esteem because I guess she's used to dudes just trying to fuck her and be impressed. And I'm really, I'm not pressed over any woman like. Yeah, you beautiful and all, but I'm not pressed. I was still trying to respect her. And she told my mans, like, my, my bro Vaughn, she told him, like, yeah, like, I was trying to fuck your bro. Like, he dubbed my shit. Like, what's what's wrong with him? What's wrong with me? Like, what's, what's up? And he told me that shit, and I was like, damn, bro, I didn't even know it was like that. But... I'm on, I'm going to do another video on, on woman's nature, like, further along, but... You know, I just wasn't in tune. So the second time I went over there, she stuck me into her crib. Boy, I fucked the shit out of her. I snatched her soul. And I'm not talking heavy. She'll tell you herself, bro. Like, I fucked her like I had something to prove. Like, I did that shit for the guys. Like, I, I don't know. It was, it was just some good a good experience for both of us. Like, I had to. So, for the culture, like... So, fast forward again back to my bro. My old bro that was that was telling me he gonna fuck her. He was still texting and all that shit. And... He found out I, I fucked her and he got salty. And I'm not a type of dude... I know I'm making this video, but this is for, like, learning purposes for you guys. I'm not a dude to go have sex with a girl and go tell everyone and brag about this shit. Like, I'll, if it's like a, a, a bad, a bad bitch, like, I might go, like, every dude has done this, though. I don't care what age you are. At some point in your life, you've done this. If you fuck a badass woman or you're talking to a badass woman, you're going to tell your bros. Like, you're going to show them, like, yo, bro, like, look, nigga, like. This is what I'm about to, like, try to smash, or this is what the girl I'm talking to. And women do the same thing. Like, they're going to brag about their preferences. They're not going to brag. I don't care who you are. 
No niggas bragging about no ugly bitch that they're fucking. Like, unless you're lame. But, like, that's you. So, my man's found out I fucked her. And he got salty. And first, he wasted his time because she, he wasn't her preference. And he kind of came at her really lame and clingy. And the whole time... I'm smashing her. She's showing me, like, yo, like, look at this lame-ass nigga texting me, like, this nigga's lame as shit, like, he, he my, he a friend, like, I'll, I'll be his friend, but I don't find him attractive or nothing, and I'm like, damn, like, I'm like, damn, that's my bro, like, don't talk about my bro, but, like, she was right. I was reading this shit, and he kind of came at her lame, so, long story short, he was like, man, she a hoe anyway. I was like, she's a hoe? How? How was the pussy? I didn't fuck her. Then how is she a hoe? She's not a hoe because she didn't fuck you, bro. Like, and if she was a hoe, she would have fucked the whole team. Like, she would have fucked my my bro Dre. She would have fucked my man's Vaughn. She would have fucked you. She would have fucked everybody, bro. She's not a hoe because she didn't give you the pussy. You're just mad, and you can't you can't be calling women hoes because you didn't fuck because that's what that's what the lame bitter niggas do. Like you're you're mad. So, long story short is, she'll be a hoe. For certain niggas, she'll be a hoe for her preference. The the dude that she finds attractive, the dude that her her type. So don't don't be one of these niggas that are calling women hoes because you didn't fuck. That's lame, and you just gotta play a role. Like if you not the woman that you like or that your preference aren't fucking you, go around women that appreciate you for who you are, don't try to change, like, don't waste your time on women that aren't gonna give you the time of day, and that's just my video for the day, I'm gonna make another video to follow up about this, about my mans calling a woman a hoe, but he, he secretly tried to, like, smash her behind my back, but I don't know. It's weird. But look, that's my video for the day. Stop calling her a hoe because she didn't let you fuck, man. Like, that's that's corny. So have a good day. I hope this video helps you in some way. I hope that everyone remains positive. Don't let anyone don't let anyone ruin your day. Don't let anything ruin your day. And, re and continue to grow and boss up. Be easy.